problem one on today's document and uh, a number of problems following that aren't generated uh, according to uh, randomly, uh, well, are randomly generated according to program that I've written. And uh, you see a big range of uh, potential problems that can appear on the test. This is a test generating program. Okay, the first situation involves uh, selecting a vowel from the alphabet, a prime digit, and a character from the set, at sign, dollar sign, pound sign, percent sign, ampersand. Okay, so we have uh, some subset of the alphabet. Now, in the randomly generated program, uh, this could be a consonant. It could be a letter in the first half of the alphabet. Uh, it's not necessarily just a vowel, but in this case, it's a vowel. Instead of a prime digit, we could have a digit less than seven. We could have even digits. We could have odd digits. And, and let's be clear, the digits are uh, the single digit numbers, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay? And notice that there were 10 of those. There are 10 possible digits because, of course, we start with 0. And uh, this set is, uh, we, we could use a smaller or bigger set of characters. In this case, it's a set of five characters. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, we're going to select a three character code in order. So, uh, and, and the three character code, as specified in the problem, which you should read, says that first we choose a vowel, then a prime digit, then a character from the set. That's the order. Well, the fundamental counting principle applies here. Why? Because uh, your first choice is going to be a vowel. It could be any vowel. There are five choices for the vowels. There's no choice. Uh, there's no, uh, no matter what we choose for the first, there are five characters from which to choose it. Okay? Then a prime digit is chosen. Now, the prime digit, uh, there are four prime digits, so there are four possible choices. It doesn't depend on what was chosen earlier. Doesn't depend what's going to be chosen later. There are four prime digits, so that the uh, answer to the number of ways to do the first step, choosing the vowel, is five, no matter what, and the number of ways to choose a prime digit is always going to be four. Third step of the choice is to choose your character, and there are five characters from which to choose. So the fundamental counting principle tells us that there are 100 possible codes. Now. Uh, a later problem, and uh, gee, I should have this. I think it's problem seven. Let me make sure. Yeah. Uh, we're choosing a five character code this time. And uh, the first two choices uh, will be vowels, then a prime digit, and then two of our characters. Okay? And we're, uh, we, we can. To break this into steps, there are going to be five characters, five five objects to choose. Okay, uh, we got to choose a vowel, then we got to choose another vowel, then we got to choose a prime digit, then we got to choose a character, then we got to choose another character. I also say at the end of the problem that repetitions are not allowed. That makes a difference. Okay, well we think of filling five slots, five steps: fill the first slot, fill the second, fill the third, fill the fourth, fill the fifth. How many? possibilities are there for the first choice? Well, that's going to be a vowel. There are five possible vowels when we make our first choice. Now, our second step, we're going to choose a vowel, but we can't choose the one we did before because repetitions aren't allowed. There are four possible vowels left. Okay? And uh, you know, I could even put the word left in here. Then uh, there are four possible prime digits. Doesn't depend on what we chose for our vowels. There are going to be four possible prime digits, then five possible characters, and then four possible characters are left. So that the number of possibilities is, uh, by the fundamental counting principle, five times four times four times five times four. You could imagine the tree diagram, uh, but let's see this multiplies out to 64, 640. There'd be 640 twigs by the time we get to the last branch. But we could start out with our five vowels. And then we'd have four vowels off of each one of these. Four remaining vowels. 
and then we'd have to have uh, four digits off of each one of these twigs, then five characters off of each one of those, and it, it would get to be a complete mess. We wouldn't be able to write it out in a sheet of paper. Uh, in any case, uh, these are two applications of the fundamental counting principle. 